The fat controller arrived to see him. James, you are to have a new coat of paint. You must puff straight to the steamworks. James was pleased. Thank you, sir. I will be the smartest engine on the whole island. James whistled with pride. James puffed proudly into the steamworks. The workmen waited. First, they took off James's old coat of red paint. Then, they applied a special pink paint. The pink paint was to go under the new red coat. It was to keep the water out. Soon, James was covered from fender to firebox in bright pink paint. Just then, the fat controller arrived. My granddaughter is having her birthday party today. Emily was to pick her up at Maithwaite Station, but she has broken down. The other engines are busy. You must collect the children and take them to the party. But, sir, I'm not ready. You're quite ready enough, James. Leave right away. The party starts at tea time. You mustn't be late. The fat controller left. James was upset. Oh, no. Pink is a silly colour. I don't want anyone to see me looking silly. James puffed up to a junction. Emily was there. She was waiting for the workman. Cinders and ashes. You break. James? Emily laughed and laughed. <laughs> oh no! Everyone is going to laugh at me because I'm pink! James didn't want to be laughed at. Then an idea flew into his funnel. If I see any other engines on the way to the children, I'll hide. <laughs> James chuffed through the countryside. Ahead, he could see Toby puffing along the track. I don't want Toby to see my pink paint. He'll think I'm silly. I'll hide under this tree until he's gone. So James chuffed under the branches of a willow tree. Toby puffed slowly towards him. James kept as quiet as he could so that Toby wouldn't hear him. Suddenly, James heard a whistle he knew well. It was Gordon. Clack, express on the track. With a whoosh and a whoosh and a whistling wind, Gordon thundered down the express line. The branches of the tree blew up in the air. There was James in his bright pink paint. Toby stopped. He was surprised. Using it fireboxes, James. You're a big pink engine. <laughs> James felt very silly. He didn't like being laughed at, so he steamed swiftly away. James puffed on towards Maithwaite. I mustn't be late for the children. Then James saw Diesel. Oh no! It's Diesel! He's sure to laugh! I have to hide quickly. James saw some trucks. They were piled high with coal. James puffed into the side and hid behind the trucks. Oh, this is a good hiding place. Then Diesel oiled into the side. Fizzling fenders. Diesel had to shunt the coal trucks. Diesel shuffled away the trucks that James was hiding behind. So James puffed to the next trucks. Then Diesel shunted those away as well. Quickly, James rolled behind the last two trucks. Then Diesel shunted them away. Oh no! Diesel was surprised. What are you doing, James? 
You're a big pig steamy. <laughs> James felt terrible. Being laughed at by Diesel was worst of all. So James shot quickly away. James knew he was getting late. He had to pick up the children before tea time. I'll take a shortcut through this tunnel. That way, I'm sure to chuck to make weight on time. James puffed out of the tunnel. But then he heard a whistle. It's Gordon! Oh no! I don't want Gordon to laugh at my silly pink paint! I have to hide! So James reversed back into the tunnel and waited. Gordon crawled up to the tunnel. He could see steam. Who's hiding in there? Express coming through! Come on out! James didn't want to come out. He was sure Gordon would laugh at him. Then Thomas and Percy popped up. What's happening? Who's in there? I don't know, but the Express can't wait. James knew the engines were waiting for him, and so were the children. If I keep hiding, I'll be late to pick up the children, and they'll be late for their party. So with a puff and a huff, James chuffed slowly out of the tunnel. He was very unhappy. James, you're all pink. What a funny colour. <laughs> <laughs> I'd hide too if I was bright pink. James felt terrible. Oh, the engines were laughing. But James knew what he had to do. I feel very silly, but I can't let the children down. James hurried to Maithwaite as fast as his pistons could pop. James saw Spencer at a junction. Spencer thought James looked very silly. <laughs> oh dear, James. Bright pink really isn't your colour. <laughs> James didn't like this, but this time, even though he felt silly, he didn't hide. I mustn't be late for the children. Then James saw Henry passing by. But James didn't hide. He felt silly, but he didn't stop. We must collect the children. We must collect the children. James puffed towards Maithwaite. He could see the children waiting. I'm sure the children will laugh too. They will think I look very silly. And he seemed sadly onto the station. James pulled into Maithwaite. The fat controller's granddaughter didn't laugh. And she didn't think James looked silly at all. She smiled. She was very excited and very happy. James, you're a pink engine. Pink is my favorite color. James couldn't believe it. Do you really like pink? I love pink. And so do all my friends. Look, pink, pink is our favorite, favorite color. color. James was so happy it made his boiler bubble. I'm a very lucky engine. James puffed proudly into the town hall just in time for the party. The children laughed and clapped their hands. James the bright pink engine was the hero of the day.